Yo, what's up, swag gang? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy KLR, aka KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, look, man, look, man. I already saw y'all enjoy the first cooking video on this channel, man. I ain't gonna lie. I see y'all enjoyed it, bro. I had a good time filming it, too. I feel like I can help y'all, too, at the same time, man. And I'm also gonna be doing some videos um, that really help people with depression, stress, and all that stuff, too, man, because it, it, it happened to me, bro. So I'm gonna be doing some videos like that. So if you guys see different videos like that, bro, it's because something that happened today that I comment under, under a video and um i guess somebody else sub or whatever like that like what i said bro and some just told me some was just like i should make a video you know about you know you not you you y'all know what i mean bro like i should make a video about stuff like that bro about being depressed and stressed and just a lot of stuff like that bro because i understand how that is man but anyways man i ain't gonna do all this talking bro this is another cooking video man and y'all know what it is 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 this is taco taco tuesday but it's not tuesday it's christmas eve yeah so merry christmas to y'all man um we about to be making some tacos bro we about to make some tacos i got the hard tacos man we are about to make the world's best tacos yes sir with chef swag but anyways man look bro we start off by pulling the meat off, man. So I'm gonna show you guys right now, man. Cause a lot of you, a lot of y'all niggas can't cook, bro. And I'm gonna tell y'all, bro, y'all don't need no female, bro, to cook for y'all, bro. You can do it yourself, bro. I know some of your, see, you know, some of your family members or whatever like that don't put you on with shit. The whole generation is fucked up right now. Y'all think that y'all can just go out and eat and all that. No, you can do it at your crib. You can do it at your crib. So look, man. Dude, might as well sit down. All right, so you got this right here. You take off the meat, man. You get, you get you some chill ground meat. It can be fat meat. It can be whatever type meat, bro. I'm going to make sure I turn the oven. You got to make sure you turn your oven, bro. Make sure you turn the oven. All right, put that on. I'm going to put it on eight so it heats up faster. I'm going to put it on eight so you guys can see right here. I got it on eight, you guys. Um, so now you got the ground meat. You already took the ground meat out. Now you gotta take the other one out. You gotta take the other one out too. The funny thing is, something telling me to just cook this ground meat first and then leave this ground meat for like tomorrow or something. Cause I'm gonna probably eat tacos again, bro. I'm here by my damn self and all that, bro. So now, um, you're gonna get a little dash of oil. First of all, I'm not gonna put it up too high. Cause you guys, if you put it up too high and you put some oil in it, it's gonna get like real, like, high and then the detective gonna come on you guys gonna hear that bro and then you might fuck around and do it then you're gonna burn up your mama house like you know or your house or whatever so i'm gonna put a little dash of oil in it put a little dash of oil soon check that out put a, just a little dash of oil in it just a little bit nothing too crazy Put a little dash of oil in it. And you guys, that's the little vegetable oil that I showed you guys with the fried chicken. Just a little dash of oil, nothing too crazy. Now, you guys see it's not sizzling already. It's not sizzling yet. It's not sizzling. So, that's good. If it's not sizzling, you make sure you just rub the oil all inside of it, all inside the pan. Because you don't want the meat to stick. So, usually, you can use butter. But, overall, you can just use the meat, bro. You, I mean, you can just use the oil. So now, I don't put the meat into the pan now. I don't put the meat into the pan. That's all you have to do. Now, this is this is the part that you guys gonna like. Well, you might like it, you don't like it. Like I said, man, you, you cooking with k Swag Reacts, man. The best, best taco meat, tacos in the world. So yeah, right here. Damn, let me put this up, bro. I wish I had a camera, man, bro. All right. You gonna put this right here. All right. So now, as you guys see, you guys see the meat. So now, you already know we gonna use that seasoning again. You make sure you season the meat into the pan, cause the pan is already good. The pan good. So you then you get the garlic. You get the garlic now. Get the garlic. Put the garlic in there. Put a nice little 
nice little garlic on the on, on the meat or whatever like that. Now you get the Larry Caesar sauce. Damn, I got the phone standing up on the Larry Caesar sauce. Let me get let me show y'all real quick, man. Then you get the Larry Caesar sauce. You got some of that. Oh, 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 oh. So now, you guys, now all you gotta do, you move it around. You move it around all in the pan. Make sure, make sure it's good all in the pan and stuff. Cause when you first put it in there, it it, it you know. It's gonna cook at first, so you guys gotta make sure you move it around. As you guys can see, the meat, the meat is all red and stuff like that. The meat is not gonna stay like that though. So now I already got it on low. I'm gonna put it on high now. I'm gonna put it on high. So you gotta make sure you stir it up a little bit and stuff like that. Let me try to put this up a little bit higher for y'all, man. I'll put it up a little higher. Let's see. Let's see if I can put it up on just a little bit a tab half higher. Let's see, let's see. All right, yeah, well, you guys can't see it. So I'm gonna just lay it down right here. Okay, so now, you guys see it sizzling? All right, now I'm gonna keep moving around. But you gotta, you gotta remember that, you gotta remember this, you guys. I, you gotta season it some more. So you guys see me season it once you gotta season it like one more time you gotta make sure you you use the the larry season saw this is what i use so if you guys want to make it like me you can use it like that make sure you use the larry season saw then you can use the rest of this you don't have to use garlic garlic is like real strong so you can use this damn seasoning the seasoning that i could not pronounce the word but you can go in the description and i'll make sure i put it down there for you so you guys can go get it Okay, okay, all right, all right, put a little bit more Larry Caesar salt in it so it has that great taste when you put it inside the tacos. This is real quick, you guys. This shit takes like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, something quick. You can hurry up and make it before you, you want to watch the game or you got a wife or something and she like, what are you going to cook? Tacos, baby. And, and you know, it's for some of y'all. If you don't know how to make tacos, it's okay. This is why you went K Swag Reacts. You went Chef Swag, bro. Chef Swag will help you, bro. This is why. So now, as you guys can see, it's getting brown a little bit. You know? So you just gotta make sure you keep it on here. Move it around all in the pan. Gotta make sure you put it in the pan. You can also put it in a pot, you guys. You can put it like in a big pot. And stuff like that, bro. You guys, it's really quick, like real quick. Like this is like, I say this is like the easiest thing that you can make, like as a dish, bro. Like, like doing the ground meat. Like, it's see how it's getting, it's getting um, it's getting brown, just like that. So I'm gonna leave it on. I'll leave it alone a little bit. And I'm gonna just let that bitch get brown. I'm gonna let it get brown. So now I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic in there. Put a nice little dash of garlic. I told you guys I wasn't going to, but Chef Swag need a little garlic. And anybody else that's that that's gonna eat my food, they know you gotta put that. You gotta put that garlic in it. You gotta put that garlic in it. So you guys check it out. Damn. You guys check it out. So that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna it's gonna do that. Yeah, it's gonna get real brown, you guys. So now, after, after that, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it alone now. And I'm gonna just let it get brown and stuff like that. I'm gonna put it on low a little bit. So now, you gotta get your plate. You gotta get your plate. Damn, get your plate now. Boom, booyah, booyah. So now, you guys, make sure you guys go to the store and get the old El Paso. Is that how you say it? The old apostle, the old apostle, um, 18 shells, man. You get the 18 crunchy shells. Now you guys can get the soft ones. I personally would say that I wouldn't get the soft ones, you guys, because I just don't like the soft ones. I don't like it. I don't. I, I just. I don't like it, bro. I don't like it. So let me put it right here, you guys. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. 
Oh yeah, let me put it back just a little bit for you guys, so you guys can make sure you see me. I'm doing this myself, you guys. So now, now, so you get these old and parcel, old and parcel. All right. So now you get them out. They have 18 in a pack, you guys. So you guys can determine how much you want. Me personally, I think that's like enough meat to make, I say like maybe six tacos. But we gonna see, we gonna see. So I'm gonna cut this up real quick. I'm gonna see if my roommate got a knife or something. I am, uh, my broke ass don't got no damn knife in his career except for a butter knife. So if a nigga try to break it, I won't be able to cut him up. But I got this one though, I can chase his ass. <laughs> Chasing his ass. But yeah, man. So now, I'm about to open up the tacos. You gotta make sure you open it up real softly, you guys, cause these are like chips, bro, and they can like they can break, they can break, and you guys don't want to waste your money or break them or whatever like that, bro. So make sure you take them out real nice and softly. So as you guys can see right here, I took them out real nice and softly. Put the knife back, and now got the plate right here. Real easy, you guys. Now I'm personally probably gonna eat like I say like I'm probably gonna eat. Um, put these back just a little bit so you guys can see me, Chef Swag. Okay, I'm personally probably gonna eat like one, two, uh, three, four. Uh, I'm trying to see how much meat that is. Uh, five. Uh. Six, cause tacos. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys this too. I know you guys saying, "God damn, swear your fat ass, you eating a lot." Just chill. Tacos really don't fill you up like that, bro. It it really don't. I'm not gonna lie. It really don't fill you up like that. I mean, it, it don't fill me up like that. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six right now. Just leave them alone or whatever like that, right? So now, put these up. Now I'm gonna show you, you guys. Now, now. It's 150 calories. If you guys don't know, I know some of you guys probably care about calories. I do too sometimes. But right now, bro, it's winter break and stuff like that. And I haven't worked out or did anything, man. And I'm getting fat as hell too, bro. But we about to get back into it though. It's good. So yeah, it's the crunchy um lunch. And they also gluten-free. Gluten-free is okay. It's like it's actually straight, you guys. So now, um, it's 150 calories. If you guys are okay with that, that is good. Um now you can either put it in the oven on um, the 325 fahrenheit and you can bake it or you can just put it in the damn um microwave bro 45 seconds bro microwave 45 seconds you guys we're gonna do that right now this is why you and make sure you have like a big plate and spread out your tacos you got to make sure you spread them out so they all don't get fucked up so yeah now let's put it in 45 seconds the meat is already sizzling the meat you know is doing good or whatever like that you see you guys i didn't even i didn't even mess with the meat yet so now i'm about to stir up the meat a little bit put this right here for you guys stir up the meat stir up the meat stir up the meat I, and i actually put the meat i actually put the 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 um tacos on like you know on like um a minute i put it on for a minute so you so you can make sure it's nice and warm you know and stuff like that i'm gonna make sure i put a little bit more meat in here i mean a little bit more seasoning you guys because seasoning it makes the meat 10 times better like it makes the meat 10 times better like if you guys got a girlfriend or whatever like i said a wife you use this garlic she gonna be like oh baby i'm gonna give you some puss she said baby i'm gonna give you some you cook so good but in reality, you learned this from Chef, Chef Swag. You know, now I'm hooking you up to get some. Oh, you got a date or something, Swag game. You got a date. You got a date or something like that. And you're going to be like, and well, she actually, she going to ask you. She's going to be like, what's your favorite dish? Just say tacos. And to be honest, I'm the pickiest. Oh, shit. Damn. I thought I. Okay, I did it. I thought I burned it. Oh, actually, I did, you guys. So, look. Actually, I'm so glad I showed y'all. So my dumb black ass kind of burned them a little bit, right? It's still good, but like I said, I didn't pay attention. Well, I did pay attention. I told you guys I put it on for a minute. Actually, listen, put it on for, you know, 45 seconds. Just, yeah, so that, this one looks good. 
The other one kind of got burned a little bit, so make sure you put it on for 45 seconds. Um, I'm going to hurry up, scramble up this meat, and I'm going to see you guys when I put all this up together. Stay swagged up. Stay tuned, too. And make sure you like the video, man. Just like the damn video. All right. Now, swag game. We are back now. Now, I already got the meat. The meat is ready. And also, you guys, you can try the meat. You try the meat. You try to taste it. Mmm, that mean is good. That mean you put some good seasoning in it. Now, I say this, the only reason why I coughed a little bit, cause I ain't store it up all the way like that. You just gotta make sure, see, it has to be ground, it has to be ground meat, just like that. It has to be nice and brown and pretty for you guys, bro. It gotta be nice and brown. You gotta make sure you stir it up because you make sure you add a lot of seasoning to it, right? I showed you guys. So you gotta make sure you stir it up a little bit. Then you try it now. You gotta make sure you try it. Now, now, so you guys, I'm lactose intolerant. So you guys look at my tacos right now. I got cheese inside of them. I now you guys can use sprinkled cheese, but I use cheese and I put it inside there. So now it's time to put the meat inside the taco. Inside the taco now. All right, so nice and easy. Put the meat inside the taco. You can also throw it on a plate, you guys. You can just put the meat on the plate, but I don't do that. So as you guys can see. I'm putting the meat inside the taco. Oh shit, I'm making a damn mess. Yeah, and when you make a mess, if you're real hungry, you eat it off the table. Yeah, that's when you're real hungry though. You only do that when you're real hungry. You don't do that when you're not like crazy hungry. So yeah, now I'm putting it, I'm putting it all in the taco, as you guys can see. You guys like, swag really know how to cook. Hell yeah, I know how to cook. Yeah, my grandma taught me a little something, something. So now, make sure you put more. You put the you put the meat all in there. All right, got it. I'm getting trying to get it all lined up and make it pretty for y'all too. You know, I gotta make it pretty. I gotta make it pretty. I was that type of kid in school. I was that type of kid in school that everything when when I do like an assignment or something, it has to be like perfect. Like it has to it has to be good. So make sure we put that right there. Now, last but not least is the last one. This is the last one. Oh yeah. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now I'm gonna put it in the microwave just for a little bit to let the cheese melt a little bit, you guys. Just let the cheese melt just a little bit. Cause the way, the way, the way I do it, you guys, the way I do it, I have to use like, I can't use sprinkle cheese. So I gotta use like some better cheese cause I'm lactose, you guys. So if I have that cheese, man, I'll be shaking. I mean, I'll be going. So yeah, man, you gonna, you gonna let it go for a little bit. Let the cheese melt just a little bit. You know, let it mar mar marinate on the taco. Now, take it out. The cheese has already melted a little bit, already on the taco. Now, it's time to look and it's time to show y'all. I don't have any lettuce or anything like that, so you guys can add lettuce, um, ranch on it. You can add whatever on it, you guys, but this is like a nice, simple dish that you guys can make when you are hungry. I had to get a thumbnail, y'all. I had to get a thumbnail. Okay, so yeah. Man, you already know what time it is, man. We just finished our second, second video, man, cooking, bro. This is the best tacos in the world, man, by Chef Swag, man. I love you guys. Stay swagged up. See you guys next video. Eee!